Hey everybody, today I'm going to be going over how to make these classic PVC feed tubes for our chickens. Huge benefit of these feeders is moving the food outboard of your coop to save space inside of your coop and not having to bend down to fill up these hoppers, but instead being able to fill it from the top, take the cap off, and see down inside there. Um, they come around to the inside here and have these cutouts on the bottom. These are our golden comets. We have five of them. We chose to get these feeders installed um, because we had this hopper hanging underneath our coop. It was taking up a lot of space and we were getting two more hens and we had to expand quick. And I'd been putting off this project for a while because I thought that it was more complex than it really was. But it's, it's quite simple. In this video, I'm going to talk about the basic materials needed, um, how this works, and which pieces to glue, which pieces to leave loose. And hopefully you can take it and run and make your own. So let's dive into the materials. There are only a few components for these tubes. You have your top cap, which stays loose. You have your vertical pipe that goes down. You have a 90 degree elbow. Then you have a 40 degree elbow and then a cover cap. Now the cover cap has a D-shape cut out of it. We just used a Dremel tool to cut that out. What that does is it prevents the chickens from scraping the food out and wasting it on the ground. So they have to reach in over that flat and start eating it out of the bottom. And this works really great um, and you don't really waste any food that goes in there. As you can see here as well, the 45 degree bend is important because it allows the chicken feed to accumulate and not just rush out. The uphill slope creates a buildup of food that is presentable to the chicken when they go in through the D-shaped cutout in the front cap. What about dimensions? It depends. You want it to be high enough that you can store enough food in there, short enough that you can still pour food in, and low enough for the chickens. We have the flat of our D-shape about 10 inches off the ground so that they can still reach in comfortably but not spill any. These vertical tubes here are three and a half feet before you get to the elbow. Um, this was more so for us to be able to easily load it but still store as much as we could. Um, in terms of loading, we would rip the corner in our bag and then empty it into here. Some people put a wooden box on the top and have the pipes fitting into the bottom so you just pour the food into the box like a big funnel and it goes into the pipes. Um, we don't mind doing it pipe by pipe, it's not too bad. Um, the taller you make it, the harder it will be though to fill up your feed tubes. The cool thing to remember here when you get your tubes from the store is to use the PVC cement. You're going to want to get the two-part primer and cement kit that you can get from any hardware store. You're going to want to connect the elbows as well as the vertical tube but leave the caps removable. When it rains, rainwater will cling to this surface and want to enter this seam here and it'll go in and saturate any food that's in there and you'll start to get some mold and rot and things like that. Um, ironically, one time we had black soldier flies go in there and so all of a sudden our tube was spouting black soldier fly larva, which was not a bad thing but also not what we wanted because we were wasting chicken food. Some quick tips that might save you some time. 4-inch PVC sewer pipe is cheaper than 4-inch Schedule 40 PVC. Use that from the hardware store and save some cash. Use the primer and cement to keep the rainwater out and dry fit your pipes initially to check your fill height as well as your chicken access height. So overall, we are big fans of this, this design. Obviously, it's not a new design, but we just wanted to share what we had come up with. We hope that you can make your own based off what we shared for you today. Find a good length that works for you and that can store enough food for you. Um, and for your chickens to make it low maintenance. So if you thought this was helpful, please give us a thumbs up to help us out on our channel as we're just getting started. Please share this video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.